Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna work on my Dora ring. I've done this ring ages ago, but I don't know why I never managed to make a tutorial on it, but I thought this is the perfect time to do it. It's really cute and it's very simple. If you wear it, it pops out like that. So you only need two different beads for this. It's a Miyuki 3mm bugles and Miyuki 50 nose. So I had only this three colors of bugles and I already used this one for this. So I thought I'm gonna go with gold today. This is very light, so I'm not sure how much of this you're gonna see. So I'm gonna go with gold and for 50 nose here I used gold. Today I decided to use up this red. I have a little bit left and hopefully it's enough for the ring. And you're gonna need a stop bead to start with. Not mandatory, but sometimes it's just easier to have a stop bead. I'm gonna be using a size 12 beading needles and I'm gonna be using Nymo size B. I chose it to go along with my colors. And you're gonna need scissors to cut the thread. So it's a very minimum of materials you need here, really. If I forgot something, I'll bring it up later, but I, as far as I remember, this is all you need. So I'm gonna thread my needle with yard and a half. I really don't remember how much thread I used on this because I've done it like years ago. So I'm just gonna take yard and a half and hope it's enough because it's it's a really small ring with small bits. So I can't imagine you'll need more than that. So I'm gonna thread my needle and we'll get to work. So I thread my needle, have my beads ready. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the stop bead first. I'm gonna leave a short tail just to sew it in. That's all you need it for. So six inches plenty. And I'm gonna take my needle through that stop bead one more time. So that will create the place where we start our beading. So first we're gonna do this crown. It's a, oh, crown. Maybe I should call it a crown ring. Yeah, I think that suits better than Dora. Yep, we're gonna be calling it crown. So to start off, we're gonna do the crown. Crown is tubular period stitch. So it's very simple. Once we're done with the crown, we're gonna go to the side and do this band and it's done with right angle width. So it's two basic stitches come together to create this gorgeous ring. So I'm just gonna put it on. And I'm gonna pick up one, one bugle, one fifty no, one bugle, one fifty no, one bugle, one fifty no. So you need three of each. I I can zoom in and see teeny tiny beads. Let's zoom in even more. I'm gonna drop it down to my stop bead. And we need to turn this into a circle. So I'm gonna go ahead, take it, take my needle through all those beads one more time. Gosh, it's really hard to work with tiny beads, even I'm having trouble seeing them. Take my needle through. And to actually turn it into a circle, I'm gonna go through one bugle here at the end, just through the bugle and pull my needle through. And that will create our base. Well, it should be circle, but because we are using bugles, it will look like a triangle. So this is the shape, the side of our crown. And from here it gets easy. We just do a um, tubular payout. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead, take my needle, through the 50 now. So in the beginning, it's gonna be a bit wonky, but the further you go, the easier it gets. So I'm coming out of 50 now. I'm gonna pick up one bugle. And then go through the next 50 now. And pull my needle through. Right now it's on the side, but it will eventually get on top of the bugle at the bottom. And now flip it over, pick up another bugle, go through the next 50 now. And pull my needle through. 
this is what you have and then one more bugle and then go through the last 50 now and pull my needle through so we added three bugles now it's time to add the 15 notes but to do that first i have to step up to step up i'm just gonna go through the next bugle the one that comes on the side the new ones we added and then from here we're gonna add three 15 notes so i'm gonna pick up one 15 note go through the bugle and pull my needle through flip it over pick up gosh it's so tiny pick up one 15 note go through the next bugle and pull my needle through and pick up the last 15 now and then go through the bugle and pull my needle through and we added the all three 15 now so now here you want to go ahead and pull your thread nice and tight because see all those beads are on the sides but you want to make sure they get on top of the bottom row so now when you pull it look they're standing up next to each other it's really hard to show because it's so tiny but from now on it gets really easy that's what you do all over again until you get the required length to go over the top of your finger so depending on how long you want the top to be you just keep on adding so I'm gonna show you a couple more times until it gets easier so here I'm coming out of the bugle but it's time to add the bugles because we just added the 15 notes so i'm gonna go ahead step up going through the next 15 now and pull my needle through and now i'm gonna go ahead and add three bugles between 15 notes pick up one bugle go through the next 15 now and pull my needle through try to pull your thread nice and tight every time you add the bead so they all pop on top pick up second bugle go through the next 15 now and the last bugle go through the next 15 now and now that we added all three bugles, it's time to step up and add the 15 notes. To do that, all you do is just go through the next bugle. And add the 15 notes. So I'm going to pick up one 15 now, go through the next bugle. So that's the first 15 now. Pick up one 15 now, go through the next bugle. That's the second 15 now. One 15 now, and go through the next bugle. And that's the third 15 now. And once we added all three 15 notes, again it's time to add the bugles. So to do that, I'm going to step up by going through the adjacent next 15 now. I'm trying to hold it all in place so you can see what I'm doing. It's really hard to show with so small beads. Maybe I should have done with bigger. So now that I'm coming off 15 now, I need to add three bugles. To do that, I'm going to pick up first bugle, go through the next 15 now. Pick up second bugle, go through the next 15 now. And pick up third bugle, go through the next 15 now. And now that you added all bugles, you add again 15 notes. So it's always threes. And now that I have to add the 15 notes, I'm gonna step up going through the bugle. So now I'm gonna pick up. One fifty now, 
go through the next bugle second 50 now go through the next bugle third 50 now and go through the last bugle and that you added all three 50 now it's time to add bugles to do that all you do is step up through the 50 now and start adding bugles so you just continue like that and look on the side you have your triangular crown growing so you just keep going on and on until you have your required length to go on top of your finger and once you're done meet me back here and I'm gonna show you how to add the band to this so here's the crown part ready See? and now it's time to make the band now what you have to do you have to make sure you finish the crown by layer of bugles not the 50 notes so make sure the last row you added is the bugles so now I'm coming out one of the bugles doesn't matter which one here and now we're gonna start making the band to do the band we just use right angle weave all you do when you're coming out of the bugle I'm gonna pick up 150 now one bugle 150 now and then come around the same bugle through the other side That's it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce it. Go through the, all the beads I just added. You don't really have to do that. All you can do is just go through this bugle and continue adding right angle with units. But I just like to be secure with bands. So I'm just gonna go through all the beads I just added one more time. my needle nice and tight and now I'm gonna come up to this top bugle and I'm gonna add the next right angle weave unit pick up 150 now one bugle 150 now and then go through the same bugle through the other side and here you go next one again I'm gonna reinforce again you don't really have to do that all you have to do is just go to the top bugle and add the next right angle weave unit but I'm gonna reinforce first these beads are tiny and then go through the bottom bugle here is the perfect time to pull your threads nice and tight and then go through to the top bugle again add the next right angle with unit pick up 150 now one bugle 150 now go through the same bugle through the other side and pull your needle through again you reinforce it go to the top bugle add the next unit and so on and if you notice it just keeps on creating your band you just go adding more and more and more until you have enough to go around your finger and once you can see that it touches the other side make it a bit loose because we're gonna embellish it by adding 50 knots in between those 50 knots so in some cases it makes the band a bit smaller so it's always nice to have a bit of extra length so once you have that length I'm gonna meet you back here so I'm done adding enough of right angle with units to go around my finger. All I have to do now is just add this end to this end. And to do that, I'm just gonna flip it over. So I have to bring this side to this side. So here I am. I'm gonna pick up 150 now. See my needles going that way. I'm gonna go on this side this way. Go through that last bugle. Pull your needle through. I'm not gonna tighten it yet. I'm gonna pick up another bugle coming out this way. I'm gonna go through this bugle this way, and that will bring two ends together. Then I'm just gonna pull my needle nice and slowly, and it brings both ends together. Oh. So that's what I have. All I have left is 
See those 50 nodes on the right angle weave? I'm gonna add 50 nodes in between each of them to make my band stronger. To do that, I'm gonna go here, just to make sure this side is strong, go through this bugle here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come around this unit and come out of this corner bugle, a corner 50 now here. So just gonna go around this last unit of the crown. I really can't see what I'm doing. I hope that zoom is good enough to show you what's going on. So coming out of the 50 now of the crown, and here, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up 150 now, go through the next one here. 150 now, go through the next one. 150 now, go through the next one. And you just go on and on until you finish the whole band. And once you reach the other side, you just come back around the crown Again, come out of this corner 50 now and bring back the 50 nose on this side. And then once you reach this side, just go through some couple beads, make knots if you want, or it might be too tight to make knots and make sure just to go through some beads to make sure you tighten up the ends of your tails. And then I'm gonna meet you back here to compare our rings. So my rings are done. Look how gorgeous they are. I'm still in my festive colors, as you can see. Still Christmassy, New Year, even though they've gone. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I know it's probably quite hard to watch considering the beads are so small. If there are a lot of complaints, I'll probably come back and do it in bigger beads. But for now, that's it, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure to subscribe and then you can go to my channel and browse through my tutorials. I have over hundreds. I lost count on hundreds, so there's plenty out there for every taste, for every color you want. So just go and check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.